today I'll be stripping this transformer for its copper windings. Uh, it is very difficult to get these to split because they're all sandwiched together. I've got a little secret. If you leave these outside for a few weeks, moisture gets in there, they start to accumulate a bit of rust. That rust will then expand and naturally split these little fins apart for you. You'll uh, see what I mean once I get started because these are lacquered together and they are very hard to get apart. But once you've weathered them, they do split apart rather easy, as you can see there. So, we're going to start on this one from scratch. This one's got an outer casing. I'm going to knock that casing off. that into your scrap pile. Iron scrap. Now, if we have a look, they've started to separate quite nicely. Here's what I use, what we call side cutters. It looks like we've got a bit of copper strap. That's pretty good copper nice and solid, put that in your copper pile. Okay, let's begin. Locate the very top layer, which would be this one here. Remove any instructions. So, I follow it around to the top, and it gets started. Now the first one's always hardest. There you go. It will get easier, I do promise, it will get easier. There you have it. Nicely stripped transformer winding. I'll just give you a look at what comes out of it.
that's the winding. And that is what you get. Now that you've pulled these out of your transformer, that's what we started with. Weighs a good 10, maybe 15 pounds. That's what you're left with. That weighs about four or five pounds. You want to get inside that. So there you have it, your copper, your steel, and your waste. All this has come from a single transformer of this size. So that will yield all this. from that.